How's it going, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? Jeff Benjamin with 9to5Mac. This is Final Cut Friday for March 1st, 2019. On last week's episode, we showed you how to create title cards for your videos, but what if you use title cards all the time, as some of you noted? Well, you can use Apple Motion to create reusable, customizable title cards that can be used directly in your Final Cut Pro 10 projects, and we're gonna show you how to do so right now. Motion is a $50 motion graphics application that you'll have to purchase separately from Final Cut Pro 10, but definitely worth it if you're an avid Final Cut Pro user. So go ahead and launch Motion, and then select where it says Final Cut Generator, choose your resolution, I'm gonna choose 4K UHD, choose your frame rate, I'm shooting at 30 frames per second, and that's pretty much it, then click Open. Once you do, it's going to create a new motion project. So here we go, this is what Motion looks like. Looks very similar to Final Cut Pro 10, but obviously there's some differences here. The first thing you wanna do is add a new color solid generator to the timeline. So we're gonna just click the plus button here, select generators, generators, and color solid. That will add a blue solid color generator to your timeline. Now what we're gonna do is head over to the inspector so we can make some changes. So first of all, we're gonna change that color because that's ugly. So click the color to launch the color picker. There we go. And I'm just gonna choose this basic gray color. All right, so now we can close out of the color picker. And here's the cool part. We can publish this color so that you can edit the color within Final Cut Pro 10. To do so, click this down arrow and then choose the publish option at the bottom of the pop-up menu, just like this. So that's going to allow us to edit that color within Final Cut Pro without having to go back to motion and change the color. I'll show you that in a little bit. Now select color solid in the timeline, click here, and then double click the amount of frames. And we're gonna change the amount of frames to 45 because it's a 30 frame per second project. So that'll make the title card a second and a half long, which is just the right amount in my opinion. All right, great. That looks good. So now we need to add some text. So just click the T right above the timeline here and then click on our solid color and start typing. So I'm just gonna put in, this is a placeholder. All right, so now we can head over to the inspector and customize this a little bit and get it looking right. So let's do that now. Okay, so first of all, we wanna make it aligned to the center. So we'll do that. And then I'm gonna change the font size to 160. We're gonna keep the font as Helvetica. And then I'll make the window, set it to fit so you can see that the font isn't that big. So now we'll choose our select tool, which will allow us to align this text perfectly in the center, just like that. All right, so we're done, folks. That is it. Now we have a customizable, reusable title card. Now it's just a matter of saving and publishing the card for use in Final Cut Pro 10. So let's head over to the file menu, select save, and then we'll give the template a name. We'll just call it basic to keep it simple. And then we'll create a new category and call that category title cards. All right, and then click create. And now just publish. And that's it. So now we can head over to Final Cut Pro 10 and you'll see your published generator automatically appear. All right, so here's this project I'm working on right now. You'll see that in an upcoming video. Let's open up our generator sidebar and there you go, title card. So there is our customized title card that we just created with Apple Motion. Let's go ahead and drag it to the timeline and there we go. So now I can actually play that back. And there's our title card, beautiful, right? The cool thing though, is that you can obviously reuse these cards, but you can customize them. That's what makes this so powerful. So I can go in obviously and change the text. I can change the font. I can change the size of the text, various other parameters related to the text. That's cool. So we're gonna just change what it says. Satachi IMAX stand review. 
But here's the really cool thing. You can change the color of the background because remember we published the background color parameter. So it's just that easy. You can quickly change pretty much everything related to this particular title card right there within Final Cut Pro 10. And then the cool thing is that you can continuously add additional title cards right there to the timeline, add as many as you want. So that's just one example of how Apple Motion can make your life a whole lot easier in Final Cut Pro 10. So what'd you guys think about that? That was pretty easy and straightforward, wasn't it? And that's really what I love about Final Cut Pro 10 because it's super easy to use, yet obviously we're just scratching the surface. Check back next week for another episode of Final Cut Friday. Leave me a thumbs up if you appreciate this video and also be sure to subscribe for more videos like this. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.